Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends with a big Magic the Gathering news update for you today. We're going to look back at the results of Mythic Championship number 6 from the weekend. We're going to discuss what we learned about mystery packs over the last couple days. And there has been an update to the Pioneer ban list. We'll discuss that as well. Quickly before we get into it though, just a fast reminder, if you go over to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code. Save yourself a little cash while you support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. But without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin with the results of Mythic Championship number six. So this is a Pro Tour level paper event. Remember, in those events, they do play rounds of draft as well. So that can skew results a little bit, but I don't think it matters all that much when it comes to this event because we know what happened here. It's all about Oko. 69% of the decks are running Oko in them. That's crazy. So what did the top eight look like? Well, as you can imagine, a lot of food decks. First place as well as second place as well as fourth place, Simic Food. Third place, as well as fifth and sixth place, Saltai Food. Seventh place was Golgari Adventure. Eighth place was Selesny Adventure. We'll quickly look at four of the deck lists here just so you get an idea of what you can expect if you play any standard this week. However, there's a very, very high probability that Monday, November 18th, when they update the banned and restricted list, Oko will probably be leaving the standard format. This is just such a dominant performance here in this Pro Tour this weekend. And Again, we kind of expected it. This has been happening for a while now. Okay, let's look at that first place deck. This is the Simic Food deck. And I won't spend a ton of time on it. You know this deck. You played with it or against it if you're a standard player for sure. It's all over the place. Here's the cards that you will find from Throne of Eldraine within this deck list. Oko Thief of Crowns, Brazen Borrower, Gilded Goose, Wicked Wolf, Once Upon a Time, Castle of Antris, and Fabled Passage. In the sideboard, you find Gadwick the Wizened, Questing Beast, another copy of Wicked Wolf, and Mystical Dispute. Okay, this is the third place Saltai Food deck. What's different here is Black does allow you to prepare a little better sometimes against your opponent's Okos. So this deck is still trying to play Oko Thief of Crowns, as you can see here. But it can also play things like Vraska Golgari Queen, one copy here in the main, and also four copies of Noxious Grasp right there in the main deck. Here's the cards you'll find from Throne of Eldraine that are here. Oko Thief of Crowns, like we mentioned. Gilded Goose, Wicked Wolf, Once Upon a Time, Castle Lock Thwain, and Fabled Passage. Some other variations on this deck that performed well do run Castle Vantress in the main two. And sometimes you'll find a Reeve Soul in some of the sideboards. Here's your seventh place Golgari Adventure deck. And much like we saw from that Saltai deck a second ago, main deck copies of Raska Golgari Queen, two of those, and three copies of Noxious Grasp. And there's one more in the side. So they are doing some of the same things that you see from the Saltai Food deck in that way, but this is a very different deck, obviously. This is not running any Okos. The strategy here is to play Edgewall Innkeeper and then try to use a lot of these adventure cards for extra value. Let's look at the cards from Throne of Eldraine that are here. Foulmire Knight, Murderous Rider, Order of Midnight, Rankle Master of Pranks, Edgewall Innkeeper, Lovestruck Beast, Once Upon a Time, Kesselach Thwain, Fabled Passage. Here's the 8th place Selesny Adventure deck, and there's some similarities here, right? Edgewall Innkeepers here, and of course a lot of adventure cards. But this is doing different things, obviously bringing white in instead of black here. So you have other options here, like 3 copies of March of the Multitudes, 2 copies of Unbreakable Formation, you'll find those right in the main. And here's your cards from Throne of Eldraine, Fairy Guide Mother, Giant Killer, Shepherd of the Flock, Edgewall Innkeeper, Flax and Intruder, Lovestruck Beast, Once Upon a Time, and Castle Arden Vale. In the sideboard, you find Questing Beast and Glass Casket. On to the Pioneer update. One card is banned this week. This goes into effect November 12th, which is today. The card is Vale of Summer, now officially banned. So the reason they cited for this was green-based aggro and ramp decks still remain overrepresented within the format now. They are getting a lot of data from Magic Online. And even though those green decks took a couple big bannings last week, Oath of Nyssa as well as Leyline of Abundance, they are still doing really, really well. Maybe this will start to balance things out a little bit. I guess we'll see. The next update to this ban list will be on November 18th, which is Monday, but it will come out later in the afternoon. Earlier in the day, they are going to do the regular banned and restricted list update, which includes standards. So they will come out in two different waves on Monday. Okay, out of mystery boosters. This weekend, we saw these open at Magic Fest Richmond, and we got our first glimpse at what was inside. And we'll talk more about that in a second. 
Since then, though, they did put an article up telling us all the different reprints that you could find within these packs. They also did clarify the difference between the convention edition and what you will find in stores. Now, the ones for stores will go on sale on March 13th, so that's still a little ways down the road. But the big difference between the two is the convention boosters have these kind of fun play test cards in them. The ones for stores will not have that play test card. Instead, you're going to get a foil card in every pack. The foil will be a reprint. They haven't told us what those reprints are yet, but they did say they are not part of the 1,694 different reprints that are already in this set. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so let's look at the playtest card, then I'll explain some other things. So here's a copy of one of these playtest cards. There's 121 different ones. This is Mirrored Lotus. They kind of feel like uncards, and they are printed like this, like you see here. They look like they're stuck to another card, but that's actually how they are printed. Now, what's interesting is, I mentioned there's 121 different ones. There's no real rarity in the set. There's 15 slots in a booster pack, and each one of the slots you randomly get a card from a 121 card pool. So that means that each card's rarity is very similar to maybe like a mythic rare card. So that does keep everything very interesting because you can't really say that a certain card is any rarer than any other card within this set. They all are kind of really rare and hard to get basically because the card pool is so large. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the reprints that you could find in these packs. These aren't actual photos of the reprints. These are original copies, but there's cards in there like the Fairy's Protection, Bloom Tender, Mana Crypt. I'm going to put a link in the description below that goes to the full list because there's a lot of interesting cards in there. There's a lot of bulk too. So the cards that you'll see reprinted, they're going to look like the old versions of the card. They even will have the old set symbol and stuff, but they do have a symbol on them that differentiates them from the older copy. It's also on the playtest cards. It's actually the magic symbol you see there in the bottom left corner, but it is cut off in that picture. So no word yet as to what these packs are going to cost in stores. I'm assuming, though, because there's a foil in every pack, and those foils will most likely be pretty sought-after cards, I would imagine, that it's probably going to be more comparable to a master set would be my guess. I'm sure all that information will be coming soon. All right, that covers today's news. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on anything we talked about today. But until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.